So I was sent these subwoofers for review and I'm having a really hard time letting go of them. They are that good. Hey guys, it's the Villaman here, home theater enthusiast and lover of all things tech. And there's always a lot of questions about subwoofers. Which one should you get? Do you go with a ported or sealed, small or large, one really good one or multiple less expensive ones? You get the idea. Well, let's talk about what I think everyone should know about subwoofers and how the Mariana 18S from Deep Sea Sound fits into that equation, how it performs and who it's for. This is the review. Stick around. Subwoofers are an essential part of any immersive home theater systems. I know there are some people out there who don't actually agree with that, but they must like being wrong. But what they don't know is that it really adds another dimension to the sound of whatever you're listening to. And a really good one with impactful low end extension all the way down below 20 hertz will really elevate your listening experience more so than an okay or just passable sub. Would. Now there are two main types of subwoofers, ported also called a bass reflex sub or a sealed subwoofer. A ported sub is typically larger and uses a tuned port to amplify low frequencies, allowing more output or deeper extension at a given driver excursion. So it typically has more bass extension and efficiency in the lower region where you might feel that physical rumble more and it doesn't need as much power or even that high a performance of a woofer. But on the flip side, they're typically larger and the performance can vary like the bass being not as tight or as fast or having port noise or chuffing, especially in those deep bass scenes or sounding sloppy or bloated. A sealed sub on the other hand is typically smaller since it doesn't need a port or ducting so the cabinet is stiffer overall. Sealed subwoofers also control cone motion well giving them punchy well-defined bass so it will sound faster and more hard hitting. To get the best performance out of it though, a really high performance driver is a must. The downside is it doesn't play quite as loud as a ported sub would and in the event that you push it too hard, some of them may bottom out. They need more power compared to a ported sub and some sealed subs really struggle to produce infrasonic bass below that 20 hertz region. Spoiler alert, not this one. So what kind of performance can you expect from the Mariana 18S with a 18 inch high excursion driver mated with a high power 4000 watt RMS power amplifier? In a word, incredible. Let's talk specs for a little bit. It comes with a high excursion stereo integrity 18 inch carbon fiber driver, a speaker power SP1 4000 watt sustained power amplifier in a super robust Baltic birch cabinet measuring at 21 inches high, 21 inches wide, and 20 inches deep. A nice little cube, relatively speaking, of course. It has a host of stained and veneer finishes like the zebra wood and the Macassar ebony veneer like the ones you see here. So you'll have a lot of flexibility on the final look of the sub to fit your space, whether it be a dedicated theater room like this one here or a living room setup where you may want it to blend with your decor more. On the back is the power switch, of course, and controls to help fine tune or manual integration into your system if you're not using a receiver or processor to do so. There's gain, low frequency adjustment, crossover controls, and delay. As for connections, there's balanced XLR and RCA inputs, as well as speaker level ones and a Nutrix speaker outlet. It has a frequency response of 17 Hertz to 180 Hertz with an in-room response down to nine Hertz, depending on the size of your room. I used my Trinov Altitude 16 to measure and calibrate both subs in my room, you know, for some real world in-room numbers. And this is the frequency response in my home theater. On this chart, S1 is the sub on the left of my room and S2 is the one on the right of the room. As you can see, both subs go all the way down to at least 10 Hertz, which is where the measurement for the Trinov cuts off. And that's incredible. 
It certainly goes below that, but that's all the processor will show us. There's a dip at around 50 hertz, which is room specific caused by a room mode. But just know that the frequency response in your room may look a bit different because every room is different, of course. You can see the filter the processor applied to both subs to get a flat response and it's nothing crazy because their response curve is pretty flat to begin with, which is what you want to see. Okay, so how do they actually perform? Well, as I said before, in a word, incredible. For my tests, I had the speakers crossed over at 80 hertz and I enabled room correction and added a custom frequency response curve that has an 8, a plus 8 dB boost under 100 hertz. And a side note, you should definitely try that out if your receiver or processor and speakers, by the way, can do that because it is a really great experience. But anyways, there are some movies that I think are great torture tests for subwoofers, especially at loud volumes. And one such movie is Overlord. In just the opening 15 minutes, that movie has bass that hits fast, hits hard, rumbles deep, and infrasonic bass to really push any subwoofer and the Mariana 18S did it all and asked for more. There's a scene right before the main character wakes up where you hear flak shells exploding in the distance and there's a kind of quick muffled explosion and they work so convincing. Then there's a scene before they jump out of the airplane and for a few seconds there's some of the best infrasonics I've ever heard in a movie. You know, the kind that makes your hair stand up and the Marianas had the entire room just vibrating from the pressurization. Fury is another such movie where anyone who's experienced the tank scene on a good system knows that it's a great test or demo scene. The deep guttural rumble of the Panzer tank when it starts moving or the bass in the shells as they whiz by is something you need a good sub to truly draw you into the experience and that is exactly what these subs do. Everyone, and I mean everyone, who has experienced that scene in this room with those subs have loved it, and I mean everyone, no exceptions. That's the kind of experience these subs help to create. And personally, I think that's the best testament to the performance of these subs. There's this one scene uh, in Unbroken that really stands out to me as a great demo as well at the seven minute mark. The bombers are flying among a constant barrage of bullets and gets hit and there's a sudden drop in altitude and you could actually feel the texture of the bass. There's no other way to describe it. It actually felt tangible as the bass ran across the room in waves. That's the kind of scene that needs a powerful, well-controlled sub to really do it justice, I think. And if you have that movie, check out that scene and let me know if you feel it too. But sure, it can create explosions, bullets, and all kinds of boom, but a sub has to also be delicate at times for music that's essential with some songs. Make You Feel My Love by Adele is one of my favorite songs, and I use it to test all kinds of speakers and subwoofers. And in the opening, there's a grand piano that is just brought to life when the speakers are able to reproduce a full frequency range. The speakers were crossed over at 80 hertz for music as well, and the subs have the kind of performance that doesn't draw attention to themselves with music, but just accentuates and enhances the bass line of the songs. It's that tight percussive bass that you want in your music, whether it be for dance hall, pop, rap, K-pop demon hunting. Hmm. 
Anyways, you can really pair these with your speakers. In my case, the Arundel Sound 1528 Monitor 8s, and they blend incredibly well. So what don't I like about these speakers? Well, since it has these high performance parts, it has a pretty high performance price as well. Coming in at 4800s at the time of making this video, it's certainly not cheap, obviously, but I really think you get everything that you pay for, and you're getting a lot. Also, I'm not so sure about how durable the painted finishes are, but I did get a couple scratches on the veneer. So the finish, especially the veneer, is not as durable as I'd like. I don't think I would get that finish personally. You know, I've experienced a lot of subs at this point, ones that I've made videos on and some that I haven't. And I will say that 18 inch subs, though they can be large, are some of the best and most high performance ones that I've experienced. And a sealed high performance one is the best of both worlds in terms of output and size. And that's why I think the Mariana 18S is a literal beast dressed in the best attire that's compact enough to fit in a lot of spaces and powerful enough to shake the heck out of it. I've had these subs for a while, <laughs> admittedly a long while, and I've enjoyed every single second of it. I'm gonna hate to see them go because they're really some of the best subs I've ever had. One of my favorite subs I've had to this date is the JL Audio E112 for its speed and punchiness. And this has all that and so much more of that tactile bass from that 18 inch high excursion driver that you just can't get with a smaller or lesser sub. These are really some of the best of both worlds kind of subwoofers where they're fast and tight and also have a lot of deep bass extension. They are truly top of the line. Honestly, if it was any more articulate, it would likely be writing a paper right now. And of course, there are other subs that are more popular or more well-known, but I am sure that these can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them with no problem at all. They're that good. So who are these subs for? Well, I think if you have a medium to large size room and are finally wanting to settle on your forever subwoofer, you know, cliche end game, these would be them. But if you want something bigger, Deep Sea Sound has bigger ones too. I've left links in the description for anyone who wants to learn more about this or the other subs from Deep Sea Sound. Sound off in the comments and let me know your thoughts and if something like this is an upgrade you'd like to make for your home theater. Thanks to Deep Sea Sound for sending these subwoofers out for review and thanks to you for watching. Don't forget to like the video if you haven't and subscribe as well. Until next time, this has been your friendly neighborhood villa man saying be safe and peace.